in lesson 6 I promised to show you the differences between the HM14 from the book and the HM14 like they fly these days. Well, <laughs> I couldn't put it in one video because the data is so, so large. Um, I would just try to show you in this video what the main differences are between book and now. Let's start with the wing. The wing in the book has an old airfoil and it forces yourself, when you use that airfoil, to use the uh, proposed rotating wheel wing. Really, when you already have built it, the ribs, no problem, you can continue building the ribs, but make sure you make the rotating wheel wing, or else you have an unsafe airfoil. main difference with the rotating wheel wing is complexity. Um, there has uh, been a system with levers from the stick to the wheel wing. Um, there are more parts to make. Uh, that's why most people don't use the system and change to other air force. But if you build one, like in the book, I'm going to tell you, you're sure going to have a very unique HM14 because nearly nobody is using the system anymore. So if you want something really unique, build it with the rotating rear wing. You have several air force you can choose from. Uh, mostly known here in the Flying Free World is the NACA 23112 and the uh, HM, designed by Harmonia himself, 3.40.13 and recently we have uh, also seen work of uh, Richard Fraser. Uh, Fraser, that's uh, Foxtrot, Romeo, Alpha, Sierra, Echo, Romeo. Uh, his F5 family air force are specially designed for flying fleet. We haven't seen the test data uh, yet, but it looks very promising. So go search, uh, ask uh, more uh, data from Richard himself and make the choice yourself. Now, how you make the airfoils depends on you. You have several choices. There are many complex and less complex methods of making the ribs. Uh, choose whatever system you feel yourself good in and that you think you will not have too many complexity to build system being used in the book is good enough. The, the guy in the previous picture is Paul Pompla. Fuselages. You can build them like in the book. No problem at all. But they are a bit small. Now, uh, if you are saying, uh, I want some more space to move, or I'm a really tall guy or really a bit, <coughs> let's say, having a low center of gravity, uh, then I would advise to build it a little bit wider and longer. Those plans are already um, placed on the internet, so with a little bit searching you'll find them. The one in the book, okay, but it's kind of heavy. So many people try to find their own way of making it. Laminated woods, uh, and they came in all kinds of shapes. Uh, there were the ones that were really straight, just like the bar in the original plan, and they made it really U-shaped to have the airplane a bit higher. Why did they use those U-shapes? Uh, there were people who were a bit scared when they were using uh, grass air strips that they would hit a gopher hole. So that's the reason why. It's possible, but remember, if you use that higher landing gear, your wings get higher too. So fitting it in the garage might be a problem. And the small guy who made 
those landing gears for the first time, he had to use a ladder to open his wings. So consider all the consequences. To fold or not to fold? That is the question. Yes, it is. The folding wings. You need them, you do not need them. Well, depends on what you want. If you want the easy construction, I would say leave them out. You don't need them. If you say, I want to have something that is very handy to transport uh, and very handy to park in uh, the air hangar of the airstrip, well, have them folded. It's really easy. Uh, you can make the dimensions of the entire airplane reduce itself to something that is even fittable in a car box. Easy. Uh, but you have to make the parts. Now, in the book, the hinges are not even mentioned. They also, uh, they only became visible in the plans of the 360-380 plans. Now uh, you can get those plans extra or you can simply demand the dimensions and the other stuff like that uh, from colleagues from the flying flea world. The, the hinges are well known. Really, you should find a very good welder when you make them.